how much aqua would be? I'm better wash day. Hello, my relatives. Today is a good day. Well, let's see. What? What's interesting in the world? You know, I've been watching satellite TV, Al Jazeera, uh, Amy Goodman, Link TV, Free Speech TV, and every once in a while I break down just to check out the networks, news. Wow! But at any rate, I try to keep up with a few blogs also. Some of what I consider important. Arabian sites that I also watch. I especially like to watch when the feminists are on, and Amy Goodman, and they're, they're thinking and what the solutions of the world are on all these channels, you know. Fox, of course. What I see is either the intended failure or the intended refusal or just plain ignorance on the structure of patriarchy and how every solution you proffer is doomed to failure because you want to address the failures of patriarchy with new methodology, allegedly new, in the same venue, the same patriarchy, patriarchal triangle, pyramid. Remember, you know, I can't say it enough, but let's go back elementary again. Pyramid, the patriarchal pyramid, the family structures built on that with the man on top, their religion, the, the school systems, the corporations, every structure of society, the police department, the fire department, the teachers, the schools, the professors, the universities, every structure is pyramidal. It's the triangle with a patriarch or a female patriarch at the top of the pyramid with the same mindset and all those within the period with the same mindset. Unless you tear down the pyramid and start with something holistic, like matriarchy, you hear me continually bring that up. Well. Uh, again, the basics of patriarchy. Patriarchy, as every th pyramid, is based on production. The production of goods and services. The productions of belief systems. The production, 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 production. Which requires, therefore, People production. So you're never going to come to a solution. Just look at the history of patriarchy. You go from feudal system to feudal system. From royalty to royalty. From Empire to empire, it never stops. And the same mistakes, once again, Einstein's theory of in insanity rules. Yeah. You try the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Voila, insanity.
the, the structure of the United States, a two-party system. And I hear from all kinds of conferences, from all colors of peoples, from all sexes, and they always are coming up with conventions on how to, the pioneers, environmentalists, you name it, but it's always within the pyramidal structure, which is their solution. It isn't going to happen. You have allowed the pyramid of the United States of America and its empire to become too solid until it destroys itself. Just like every other pyramid. Even the pyramids of the Yucatan or the Aztec or the, or the Middle East, the Egyptian pyramids, all pyramids are decaying. and eventually will disappear, unless they're rebuilt, just like you're trying to do with the American Empire, is reduce it. Power always comes together in a pyramid. Look at the Demo-Republicans. So it's, it's sad, I feel sadness, because there isn't anyone mentioning Mother Earth except Evo Morales, who comes from a matriarchal system, and Bolivia, his people, his Indian people, have brought about constitutional rights for every living being, including our grandmother, the earth, including her ch all of her children, all. Wow, huh? wow. That was just in the news recently. They tried to bring it to the world at the, the summit of Cochamamba last year. And then this past meeting in Cancun of the UN climate change, whatever it's called, and was totally quashed, totally ignored what Evo Morales brought to that climate change conference. Not a mention of it until the Guardian in England interviewed the foreign minister just recently foreign minister of Bolivia. Now all of a sudden it's big news. Imagine an ant having constitutional rights. I love it! I love it! Imagine a spider, a flower. Wow! Fish, rocks, man, with constitutional rights equal to yours and mine. <laughs> what a way to live, huh? Wow. And to think we gave you the Constitution for humans. Thinking you had the ability of critical thought. Oh well. Now, I understand that it's not going to happen. It, it just isn't. It is nowhere in the alternative media. It, it's just nowhere. Just regurgitating such age-old strategies that never work in the end in the end game of empires. So, the only thing left 
is for us indigenous people, including you, including you, because way back, you also were indigenous. So those, those little people we call uh, the DNA that's in our blood, hopefully it'll surface at least up here and here and here it's very important here what we need to do is pay attention to ourselves and those around us and build the circle or should i say rebuild the circle or mend the circle the hoop the sacred hoop of life. There's many ways to do it, but we all got to start with the individual and the recognition that we are cursed with the power of reason and we have to recognize not only the chemical but the emotional connection between heart and mind, mind and heart. Okay? If we can just do that individually, then we have a prayer, because no one is listening to our grandmother of the earth. She's speaking, every year she speaks louder and louder and louder, and no one's listening. It's There has to be drastic change, and one of them is one of them is the natural cycle. But if you don't know natural law, then you better find out. You better find out. I tried to explain some aspects of natural law. I hope, I hope and pray. You do your research. Anyway. I'm also hoping the sound on this interview is you can be heard clearly, but my sound man is not here today, so I, I'm hoping that the apparatus is sufficient to pick up my voice. At any rate, my friends, don't shout, okay.